Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum slash Dorian update. It's Tuesday, September 3rd at 8 a.m. Mountain Time 2019. At least five dead as historic Hurricane Dorian weakens, but batters the Bahamas. Estimated 13,000 homes destroyed. And this is preliminary. This is simply coming from Abaco. The hurricane has been sitting on Freeport for days. And it is currently crushing those islands. Hovering off the coast of Florida as it weakens. And we'll be covering that. Here is the latest 8 a.m. update on Hurricane Dorian. And you can see the eyewall collapsing here. So another eyewall recycling uh, phase is happening here with Dorian, which may weaken the storm but make it even wider. So we're going to be closely watching this, see what the eyewall does here. And if we come over to the satellite, which is slightly blurry, you're going to see that storm just sitting put there right over the northern Bahamas. Now something I want to draw your attention to is the chat. Now, the chat over here, over 80% of the people are claiming that the Jews made this storm, the government, uh, and any other cockamamie idea. Not only that, there are channels spreading misinformation about the fact that this is a fake storm with fake numbers and fake wind speeds. And I assure you, I looked at hundreds of videos of the destruction of this storm, and there is nothing fake about it. The only fake thing is Mike Morales and the woman with the buoy channel. They can, uh, they're part of the problem. You need to stop misinforming so many tens of thousands of people. It results in chats like this, which have nothing to do with weather. Harp is responsible for this. There you go. There's a, there, there's an idiot right there. Flacco, the biggest idiot on the planet. So please stay away from those channels. Florida woman uses duct tape plastic wrap on house to protect it from Hurricane Dorian. She must watch the Florida Maquis and these other fraud channels because they told her that she just needed plastic wrap and tape. This is what it's leading to. No wonder there's a big pile of trash floating around the oceans and on the shores everywhere in the world. No wonder there's plastic in space. Here we see uh, Dorian offshore of Miami, live stream. Some light wind and Toto there on the beach. Must be Tony Heller down there getting the facts. Tuesday's travel trouble, 1,350 plus flight cancellations as Dorian approaches the East Coast. More flight cancellations than were in the Bahamas during the peak of the storm, but very few people flying in and out of the Bahamas. We're talking East Coast now. As this storm rafes its way up the East Coast, it's going to uh, wreak havoc on those coastal towns. Hurricane Dorian is now a powerful Category 3 storm, not 4. It's been downgraded as of 8 a.m. Sustained winds at 120. Still pummeling the Bahamas and heading dangerously close to Florida. Uncertainties remain, but it looks like landfall in North Carolina and South Carolina is possible. Here's your current advisory number 40 coming out at 5 a.m. Let's see if we can refresh this and get a 40A. There it is. 8 a.m. advisory, Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. And you can see the, as a major hurricane, probably Cat 1 or 2 here making landfall in the Outer Banks, as we suggested almost a week ago. So heads up for that if you're in North Carolina. You still have several days to prepare for that. It's only Tuesday. Friday is your lose day, starting Thursday in South Carolina. Wednesday, the Georgia coast. But this storm will be way offshore of Georgia and will re-affect the coast probably sometime Thursday night into Friday morning. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on this. Sustained winds at 120. And there are your hurricane warnings and watches up the coast. Mostly hurricane watches all the way up the east coast of Florida into Georgia. And then your watches extend up into South Carolina there. Heed the warnings of local officials. Evacuate if you can. Make sure you have enough supplies for several days without power. Dangerous Hurricane Dorian is moving near the Florida coastline later today into Wednesday with hurricane and storm surge warnings in effect for the Florida coast. It's expected to slowly approach eastern Florida today and stay there, slowly moving its way up the coast, trickling its way up the east coast, causing flooding and storm surge damage on all the coastal communities from Miami 
to New York. We're going to be watching it closely as it progresses all week. Now, what else is happening? The fall is coming and the leaves are changing. It's time to plan a seasonal getaway after all this nonsense. If you've been working hard to prepare and you're a little exhausted by all the mass murders and now this hurricane, go out and do something. How about some Shinrin Yoku, some forest bathing? And check out this tool here to let you figure out where the color change is happening and when. I, I did some fact checking on this. This is a very accurate tool. So please come check it out and use it to your advantage to plan that trip for fall color and some Shinrin Yoku and some forest bathing. This map is an incredible piece of technology. But remember, there's no guarantee. It is the grand solar minimum. Seismic update. No quakes of note. We have a 4.8 kicking off in Afghanistan just moments ago. The only quakes of note that we, uh, we did have a large quake up here in the mid-ocean ridge about 24 hours ago. And then we have this quake down here. Uh, the only other quake of note, 5.9 in the mid-Atlantic. So we have some major spreading on the mid-Atlantic ridge uh, due to all that space weather coming in, swelling the core of our planet. Discover solar wind showing... The geomagnetic storms that have been plaguing us for three days are now dropping off as the solar wind speed drops down past 600. The phi angle is still sun to earth, but no longer in that 180 danger zone. And the BZ is waning, which means that we are falling off from that connection to those plasma streams. As well, the KP is falling off. Now we do have a sunspot, and it's equatorial, suggesting we are still in cycle 24 there is no sign of 25 in sight little hints of it but we are still in cycle 24 and have not hit the minimum especially with the sunspot in this equatorial region this sunspot shouldn't give us any uh major flaring but it is there nonetheless latest volcanic ash advisory center showing shivalouche still puffing but reducing itself from that major outburst over the last week. We have volcanic ash being reported up to 19 and 20,000 feet in some regions. And the big winner in the last 48 hours has been Popo with several large puffs over 20,000 feet. Past that one. Teenage boy goes blind after existing on Pringles, white bread, and french fries. Well, no sh Now, if you read this article, this boy, for his first 14 years of life, lived on nothing but Pringles, white bread, french fries, processed meats like ham slices and sausage and he never changed his diet never got the micronutrients he needed and he went blind and it's even worse come read the article it's absolutely disgusting and the parents of this child should be thrown in jail cancer overtakes heart disease as the biggest rich world killer as parents feed their children pringles french fries and white bread Beyond Meat uses climate change to market fake meat substitutes that are not even tested. And scientists are cautious. You should be too. Extracting clean fuel from sunlight? Well, hells yeah! We've been able to do this for decades, and now they're just doing experiments on it. What they're doing here is a complete waste of time. Zero-point energy has been known for almost 70 years. Will Antarctic ice doom us all? <laughs> Well, it will, eventually, especially if we try to melt it or screw with it. Now, this alarming study says that we're all going to drown when this baby melts, but it would take thousands of years to melt Antarctica, and we'll all be dead in a few decades, so we're not doomed. Scientists confirmed the discovery of a mineral never seen before in nature. Well, it certainly looks like a meteorite with some iron oxides to me. I would say this is goithite. Found alongside the road in a remote Australian gold rush town. It is hypothesized that this meteorite came from the core of a planet. Imagine that. The electric universe model proven in a meteorite. It is our supposition at the Thunderbolts Project. Dot info. That celestial bodies like comets and asteroids are all related to cosmic catastrophe when celestial bodies in close proximity discharge. And those 
lightning bolts connecting the celestial bodies eject material into space. That space either becomes a comet, which degrades into an asteroid, and eventually falls to another celestial body, like a sun, moon, or planet. And here we see Planet X in the very hands of this man. Quantum Darwinism spotted in diamond spins. Well, you can basically disregard this entire article because they use Darwin, just like I will. Forest bathing, the newest, hottest thing. Forget the weed. Colorado's hottest trend is forest bathing. Um, I doubt it. Maybe forest bathing with weed. Now, we made Shinrin Yoku famous months ago on this channel, and the mainstream is picking it up. If you want to know more about Shinrin Yoku, or the Japanese practice of forest bathing, or taking in the forest atmosphere, and you have no idea how to walk in the woods, read the article. It'll tell you how you can do it. It even tells you how to smell dirt and leaves and water. It's amazing. If you've never done that before, like, she looks really prepared here for the woods. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Hurricane warnings and watches are in place for the southeastern coasts. Prepare now if you're in South Carolina and North Carolina. The track of this storm probably will not change. And the Outer Banks will be the most affected in the U.S., in my opinion. Thanks to all of our one-time donors, all of our Patreon supporters. We love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching this video. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. See you tonight.